happen. It was just time and time again, they feel that you've played them for the fool. These guys are telling me that you made promises you didn't keep. You remember the first Christmas in Maine? You guys came out the following summer and you would walk to the end of the street and fish. I have those good memories. And then the visitation, yeah, they slowed down. I have those good memories too. You wanna know what they're tainted with? They're tainted with the fact that during that visit that I had to deal with your husband, that I had to hear all the abuse stories. The fact that you chose to stay with him it Multiple wasn't times. A, it's not a choice. It, it you absolutely don't understand. is a choice. No, a you choice. don't understand what it's I, like I to be in a relationship like that. I couldn't get myself out of it. Even counseling, I couldn't. I couldn't get myself to to just go. I couldn't. So that's I didn't your choice. know. That was you choosing. It's not a choice. Absolutely it was. Completely it was being choice. pushed down to the ground so far that I didn't have any confidence in myself. There, there is such a thing as a, a battered wife syndrome yeah, here so. where it, what seems like a, an easy choice gets to a point where it's not an easy choice. What they're talking about is when you do have a choice, what did you say to yourself when you realized your mother had picked up and chose to go to Maine and leave you behind? What did you say to yourself? I told myself she would be right back. There's no way she could be gone long. Like, you know, maybe it would be a, a vacation. Maybe she would realize who she's leaving behind. And I told myself that for years and years. But there was always a, that glimmer of hope that she would, she would pop back, you know, that she would come. Like, oh, my mom couldn't do that because she, she was a good mom and she was there. She was the best, you know, she really was. And to, to go from that to just being, I, I couldn't wrap my mind around it. But it was, it was devastating. Coming up, Sean says he's been told his mom is on her deathbed with many illnesses, including cancer. But find out why the boys think that eh, just wasn't right. Did you pull up on the lawn to fight his fiance? I did not pull up on the lawn. Well, where you... did you pull up offering the fight? I pulled up in the parking lot. Yeah. Not to fight. You wanted to give her a hug? I would consider my mom the queen of broken promises. One lied after another. One of my favorite catchphrases was, it's in the mail. The it's in the mail phrase was definitely something that we associated with disappointment and pain. When you're a kid and every time you think, mom sent us a Christmas present or mom did this, and then there's nothing, not good. I'm not the same person. Did I not make plans to come out this summer? Did you come? I was told that if I came, I wasn't allowed to see your children so why or you your children. children. Mm -hmm. That was brought up, and I never got a response back did from Sean. I did not come because I, so I had no one to visit. That's, that's a run-on sentence. Did you come? I did not come. Dr. Period. Bill. That's no. the end of the sentence. Now, you can make another sentence, but that's okay. the end of that sentence. That's the end of that you sentence. You said you were coming in June. Did you come? No. You don't get it. I made plans to come. Follow I through. had... I was, I was told not to come. I was told not to come. I never told you not to come either. Your messages from your ex-wife were that we decided this was not a healthy situation. Do not, don't worry about coming. Well, speaking of spouses, did you pull up on the lawn blowing the horn, offering to fight with his fiance? I did not pull up on the lawn. I did not pull up on the lawn blowing a horn at all. Because well, where you, did you pull up offering to fight? I pulled up in the parking lot. Offering the to fight my fiance. Not to fight. I said, if you have something to say, you need to come outside and say it to me. You're a liar. Instead of to her friends and on Facebook. You wanted to give her a hug or what? Probably in the end, yes. I wanted to apologize for the way I maybe had previously sent a text message and it was not the correct thing to say at the time. But it had gone, it, I'm not going to say but, it's gone both ways. Did, did you wheel up over there and say, come out and say that to my face instead of your friends on Facebook? Is, is that part of it accurate? That is accurate. Okay, and, and what you're wanting me to believe is that that was just so you could clear it up and give her a hug. No, you asked me, would I give her a hug? I said, probably, yes. I would probably end up giving her a hug in the end because I wanted to After apologize. Fun for my actions. So that's why you wheeled up over there and said, come out, let's take, come outside. In the beginning, come I was upset. Come outside and tell me that. In the